What's up guys, Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply and today I'm going to show you how to create a clump style. Alright, a clump style is a, a bunch of trees that are being parted close together and the base, so the root spread, they will uh, grow into each other and become one. So the root base is going to be one but still with multiple trees coming out on top. So each tree that comes out on top, we're gonna to treat as an individual tree, but the base is gonna be uh, grown into each other. So the species that we chose for today's clump style is the uh, Japanese maple arakawa, or also known as the rough bark maple. So as you can see, the tree is still green, but the rings here and up here is starting to bark up. So that's an indicator that these are arakawas. Um, Arakawas are probably one of my absolute favorite Japanese uh, maple species just because of the rough bark and their fall colors are incredible. The leaves are a little bit larger than a regular Japanese maple but it's going to be perfect for today's clump style. Um, the, the seedlings that we chose are just about three years old. Alright so the first step we're going to set up the pot and we chose this uh, oval unglazed pot. We're going to use two um, mesh wire screens and we're going to place them at the bottom so that the uh, soil doesn't fall out, but still water is allowed to drain. We take two wires, bend them in half, and then we're gonna use these uh, kind of as pins to, make, to stop the screen from moving so that the soil stays inside the pot. So we just push it all the way through and then just bend the ends over like this. And now this screen is not gonna move anymore and the soil is gonna stay inside of the pot. And do the same on the other side. Oops. There you go. All right, next I'm gonna do the same. Uh, these tie down holes, I'm gonna run one wire this way and one wire, wire that way. And these wires we're gonna to use to then tie down the trees into the position. There we go, be a little generous. Just bend them in half again. And then these wires go through from the outside of the pot, so from the bottom. There we go. So you wanna make sure that the wire is flush at the bottom against the pot like this, and that the wires on top are just about the same length on either side. Alright, so now the next step, since these um, seedlings that we have don't have a lot of roots and the roots are kind of fragile, we are going to build a little wooden frame out of chopsticks. And so the way that we're going to do it, is we're going to place two this way and two this way. And then we're going to tie, we're going to use wire to tie the chopsticks together. We're going to use these long wires to tie the uh, chopstick frame to the pot. And then we can tie the trees to the frame. And that's gonna give us a much better hole than if we were to try to tie it down without this wooden frame. Now the wooden frame is gonna uh, grow into the trees. The trees are gonna absorb it over time and the frame is gonna dissolve over time as they fuse together. Once the wooden frame is tied into the uh, pot, you want to make sure that it's tied in really well so that you can kind of do this. Um, you want to make sure that the frame is really sturdy so that once you try to tie the trees down onto the frame, that they don't rock back and forth too much. Now that this is set up, we're going to go ahead and use some thick wire and just wire the main trunk of the uh, seedlings so that once we place them into position, we can give them a little bit of movement. And one thing that's important to look out for, if you want to make a larger tree, the uh, movement of the trees can be more subtle, but if you make a shorter tree, give it a lot more movement.
so now that the main tree is in position, um, I wired it first, and the reason why I wired it first and not after is because the roots are so fragile. So I wanted to wire it first and bend it, give it a little bit of movement, just so that once I tie it down, I do not have to disturb the root system again. Now I used two wires at the bottom and I crisscrossed them for optimum strength. And I used a rubber tubing and the rubber tubing uh, is the same that we use for like all the adeniums and like species that scar easy at the base. That's why we use uh, rubber tubing so that once the trees start to grow into each other, that we don't actually harm the root base that's gonna, you know, grow into each other. We can remove these wires, I wanna say in about one to two years from now, maybe three, depending on how strong they grow. And once the root mat has really formed and has grown into each other, we can remove those wires as well as the wooden frame if it hasn't had dissolved by then. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing as we did here with the remaining four trees. And we're gonna place them fairly close around this main trunk. Alright, so this is the finished composition today of the uh, clump style. We use five Arakawa maples and we part them fairly close together. Um, we used our all-purpose bonsai and soil mixture for that job, of course. And then we use some uh, wire spacers just to kind of keep the trunks, you know, kind of push them away from each other. And we bent the trunks a little bit and gave them some movement as well. Um, I can see that the buds are now starting to like really actively push so I can tell that this tree or this composition will be in full leaves in a matter of just a few weeks. Um, I didn't trim it back obviously as you can see because I want to leave all the trees fairly large because I want them to grow much more because as this on top grows the roots will also grow and the faster they will intertwine and intergrow in with each other um, so I'm going to leave this tree pretty much grow for the next two years uncontrollably and not really do anything to it except, you know, water it well, keep it well fertilized and keep it protected from insects. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, make sure that you guys comment below or let me know what you guys think of today's composition. I think it came out pretty cool. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.